I'm Mama Dr. Jones, a board-certified OBGYN, mom to four, specialist in vaginas, which are a blessing to all who have it and some who borrow it. God, that's my new intro. <laughs> I love this. Today, we're reacting to Lou Berger, the vagina song. I did not know who Lou Berger was until this song. I just clicked on their YouTube channel to see, and apparently Keith from Try Guys is a part of this. So I am thrilled to watch this because there is no way it will disappoint me. If you're new here and you'd like to subscribe, I would love to have you hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications so you never miss an upload. Let's jump into the video. The vagina is a tubular sex organ. Oh my god, I already love it. It's part of the female genital tract. But do you know enough of the facts about vagina? Her hat. Oh my god, I need that hat. Keith, I don't think you'll see this. But if you happen to and you know where I can get that hat, please reach out and tell me. I need the vagina hat. I need it. It's actually also a very good representation of a baby who is mentum posterior in a face presentation, meaning coming out face first with its chin to the floor. And I am obsessed with that hat. I need it. Please, somebody find this for me. Uh, structure. Let's start outside with the labia sisters. Majora and Menorah make a perfect picture. Through the hymen we go under the clitoris. Oh my gosh, there's a double hat. I love it. I want to know what the process was for going from idea to writing and filming this song. Do you think these dudes were just like hanging out one day and they were like, Guys, I have a great idea. We should write a song about vaginas. I really want to know how that went over at the round table discussion. <laughs> also, very curious if it would be okay if I use some of this music in a new intro or outro song. Keith and friends from Lou Berger, let me know. Take a nice trip round the uterus. On your left, you'll pass. Oh my gosh, they have so many costumes. I need somebody find these things for me. I will buy all of them. Cervix, you're right, you'll see a vulva. Swimming through the fallopian tubes. It's all part of the vagina. Okay, those aren't parts of the vagina, but I appreciate the creative process enough that I'll let it pass. Our sex organ, it comes in different shapes and sizes. Let's write the bags down and organize the vagina. <laughs> this paper said tall, grande, and venti. Oh my god, I love this so much. Uh, purpose. It's the conduit for feet. Well, as the child birthing resource, a house for the process of menstruation, where the uterine wall should have the monthly gestation. I have never seen such an awful visual in my life. Please get that off of my screen and don't ever bring it back. Phase of the ovarian circle. Oh my gosh, it got worse. I didn't think it could get worse. It got worse. This where women ovulate and become fertile. Before you know it, we're back into the menstrual stage. I can't do this anymore. It was good. Now I, I don't want it anymore. Take it back. It's because vagina's routines are an ever-changing thing. I'm sorry I keep pausing. He's wiping her face with a pad. Oh my god, it's so funny. I this is so funny. The vagina. Do you know enough of the facts about vagina? Miscellaneous. During arousal, it lubricates itself through plasma seepage in the vaginal wall. The details in this video are exceptional. When the sperm gets to the egg, it locks out every other sperm, and then billions of sperm die inside of a woman. Billions? I don't know if it's billions or millions. Like one sixth of the world's population's worth? Well, they're Something? like half cells, so I wouldn't give them that much weight. I'm just saying, that's a lot. Yeah, it's a lot of little cells. So when you like, when you're alone. Oh, you're just killing them? Yeah, yeah oh yeah. Yeah, when you're jacking it. Oh yeah. Wow. I've... Yeah, you're just killing them all. <laughs> this is definitely how the round table discussion went. I was curious and they have now shared with us how it went. Uh, but that's Igoat, that's Igoat in there. Like a 51? It's got like a 50% chance. 
some percentage of a chance. Uh, sure, some percentage. Of having a vagina, China, 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 wow! Vagina. My cheeks are from laughing at this. It is so good. How have I never seen this? Details again! Look at the bouquet! It's tampons! I can't! I love it so much! The nose vagina! The vagina is a blessing to all those who have it and those who borrow it! <laughs> the vagina is a blessing to all those who have it and those who borrow it. That's my new intro. I'm Mama Dr. Jones, a board certified OBGYN, mom to four, specialist in vaginas, which are a blessing to all who have it and some who borrow it. God. <laughs> I love this. Wait a minute, whatever you want, go crazy. We don't have vagina, so it'd be weird for us to tell you what to do with your vagina. But you gotta, you know, accept the fact that you make people. Your body is a human factory. That is nuts. You have all the parts of the assembly line inside you. That's so efficient. It's really a great business model. Come on! Oh my god. It's so good. Vagina. Look at the costumes! I can't! I want them all! I want the ovary. No, it's an egg. I want the egg. I want the vagina. I want the double vagina so my face can be a clitoris. I want the whole uterus. Where do I get these? Who made these? I know somebody who knows somebody in the Try Guys or Keith or Lou Berger or someone knows how to ask these guys where they got those costumes. And I need them immediately. I already should have been all of those things for Halloween. Speaking of, did you see the time that I made an IUD as a Halloween costume? I have a vlog about it, but I recently posted it again on TikTok because I thought maybe people forgot about it. In girl world, Halloween is the one night a year when a girl can dress like a total slut and no other girls can say anything about it. The hardcore girls just wear lingerie and some form of animal ears. Doesn't she look great, honey? <sighs> what are you? I'm a copper IUD. Duh. Unfortunately, no one told me about the slut rule, so I showed up like this. I'll link the the video below. Blueburger, if you want to collab and make a video about contraception with equally incredible lyrics and costumes, I would love to be a part of it and I can show you how to make an IUD costume. Uh -huh. It's even got a urethra. Look right there above her head, that hole, that's the urethra. It's, and it's accurate. There's no clitoris. I don't know what happened there, but I'm proud of the urethra for showing up. I don't think I've ever loved anything that much in my entire life. Thank you, Lou Berger, for existing and for creating this video. It has absolutely just made my entire week year. Allie Jennings, director, thank you. I don't know if you have a vagina or not, but if you do, thank you for your contribution on both a director level as well as an input from someone who has experience level. Thank y'all for being here today, y'all. If you like this video and you want to watch another one, I will link a playlist right over here. If you're new and you'd like to subscribe, I would love to have you like the video, subscribe, turn on notifications, do all of those things. Leave a comment if you feel so desired. If you want to watch the video in full, the whole music video, I will link it below. Thank you to Lou Berger. I will see you next Monday.